Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Today we're doing an unboxing on this month's Super 6 sack from Six Sense Fishing, as well as opening up a box full of what some people may call the greatest soft plastic color of all time. Let's get into it. What's up? It's unboxing time. We're gonna get right off into this. Not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna say, if you have fun hanging out with me during this unboxing, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Click that thumbs up button. Let's get off into it. April 2021, Super Six Sack Premium Edition. Let's check it out. I've heard good things. Oh, no way. Also heard that there's a new sack in this month's sack. And there's a new sack, check it out. Straight up fishing Christmas, Kris Kringle style. We got the white sack, that's the ivory. The red and white, awesome. Don't yet have that color sack, so there's another one to add to the collection. More stoked about what's inside though. If you guys aren't familiar with the super sick sack, I'll tell you a little bit about it. In my opinion, it's the best monthly bait subscription service. You guys know the deal. Heaters only in the Super 6 Sack. All Six Sense Premium Soft Plastics, Hard Baits, Terminal Tackle, Fishing Accessories. Just got mine yesterday, and here we are. About to crack into it together, right here on camera. Oh, almost forgot. If you guys do decide to sign up for the Super 6 Sack, make sure you use my code JR10SUPER6 when you sign up. That's gonna give you $10 off that first sack. Save you a little bit of money. Let's check it out. First up, Ned Fry's Green Pumpkin. This is six cents take on the classic Senko style stick bait. The Ned Fry in Green Pumpkin is a killer. Could we be doing a little bit of foreshadowing here right at the very beginning on the first bait? Maybe. Ned Fry, springtime. It's time to go throw a weightless Ned Fry up shallow. Item number one out of this month's Super Six Sack. Not bad at all. Let's see what else we got. This is this. Divine Shaky Worms? Yes, Divine Shaky Worms. June Bug Red Divine Shaky Worms. Something with a little flash, a little bold color to it. Let's check it out. You guys know I like to bust off into the packs. Give you guys an up close and personal face-to-face -face look with these baits whenever we get them in. Do these unboxings. <laughs> Accidentally move the camera. All right. I think we're good. Sorry about that. I don't know if the angle changed or not, but anyways, here's those worms. The June Bug Red Devon Shaky Worm. It's like a deep, dark, royal blue, almost purple, and it's like it's got like aqua, green, red, and black flake. Maybe something like that. Devon Shaky Worm. These are the 6.3 inch. They make a seven inch version as well. I love throwing a straight tail worm. Got a lot of confidence in these style worms. And the Devon Shaky Worm. Plastic is super soft, the action is killer. Junebug Red, for all you guys out there fishing in the mud, need something bold, stand out. Don't sleep on the Junebug Red. But wait, there's more, let's check it out. What else do we have? What is this? More soft plastics. There's like a worm theme going on right here. I ain't mad at it. Cool, man, you just get like a load cover all the bases you got green pumpkin really natural got your bold standout june bug red and in this right here cinnamon crave right there in the middle this could go this could go either way cinnamon crave clout 5.4 i guess i should say the name of the bait it's a clout it's clout 5.4 it's another stick bait this right here, totally different setup on this bad boy though. It has this uh, this really unique sort of diamond molded in pattern. And man, is that action on that thing killer. That cinnamon crave, that's gonna work in 
all watercolors. Clear, murky, doesn't matter. They're gonna eat that. Looks like a freaking earthworm, dude. Clout 5.4. The early worm catches the fish, Russell. Throwing down the worms in this month's super sick sack. Sweet. Let's see what else we got. Boom. Killer. Hey, I just bought some of these. Got a couple of these up here on the tackle wall behind me. This is one of my favorite top water walking style baits. It's actually the walking bait that I first started using from Six Sense before they came out with the catwalk. This is the Dogma 100. Super confidence. Love this walking bait. Always have this on deck. Have a dedicated peg to this bait right here on the tackle wall. And this uh, ghost Spanish pearl. Oh yeah. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's definitely ghosty. You can see, oh yeah, you can see through that bad boy. Look at that. Dude, dude, that's killer. Reminds me of the Spanish bone. Really similar to Spanish bone, in fact. I like that it. it has that ghost look to it. Translucence going on. It's just that, that light bone, really natural bone color. Black dot accents, gold and black, 3D realistic eyes. 3D molded in gill plates, 3D scales, and as always, laser sharp black nickel hooks and hardware on all six cents hard baits ready to go right out of the pack and i love throwing a walking bait the dogma 100 especially right now springtime top water it's on speaking of top water you guys i've already been out there catching top water fish stay ready videos coming stick around and uh kick those notification bells on so you don't miss the videos they're coming been out there fishing walking baits have been part of the game plan lately and it's been cracking off. Skadoosh season is upon us. They've been raising the roof. Stay tuned. But wait, there's more. What else do we got? I love this crankbait. The Cloud 9 C6 Killer. This right here. This is the do-it-all crankbait, man. This is like the mid-diver when you need to fish shallow, but you need to kind of also fish deep. Cloud 9 C6. A little bit of a smaller profile. This is the Shad Bruce color. We'll bust off into the box here. A little bit of a smaller profile on the C6 if you compare it to the C10 and the Cloud 9 series. And that is why I really enjoy fishing this crankbait. Anytime they push back out a little ways and I can't get them to hit the square bill, I'm going from the Curve 55 to the C6. And if all else fails, we start throwing C10s and C15s if they won't hit those. But this right here is a killer option for when they're out there just a little bit deep. Post spawn maybe once they've started pushing back out to a little bit deeper water and munching. You know that they will be smacking crankbaits. And this Shad Truce Cloud 9 C6 looking pretty killer. Got the Chartreuse belly, bronze, silver, gray, black back. Natural Shad look to the side. Same high quality hardware, 3D molded in eyes, gills, and scales. That's a killer looking crankbait in this month's Super 6 Sack, the Cloud 9 C6. I have a ton of those on the wall and in my boat at all times. Can't go wrong with a little mid diver, a little C6 action. Dives four to eight foot, by the way, I don't know if I said that. Killer medium diving crankbait. Let's keep rocking and rolling. But wait, there's more. We have two more in here. I'm not sure which one I want to pull out of here first. I'm just going to go with, all right, a Quake 70. Check that out. Little, what's that, Snoop Shad? What's that, Snoop Shad? I don't think I've heard of that color before. Snoop Shad. I think that's a new color. New one on me. Snoop Shad. Let's check it out. Let's inspect it. Let's take a closer look here. Snoop Shad. Quake 70, lipless crankbait. Love the rattles in the quake. There's the Snoop Shad. What do you guys think? I'm digging it. I'm thinking that's gonna work everywhere. Really natural shad pattern with the chartreuse accents on the belly and the sides. And I love the tone of the Quake 70. Super high pitched, loud, vibrant sounding rattles. So we got, we got like a shad theme going on and a worm theme going on. If you notice, I ain't mad at it. We got the shad colors going on in the hard baits. You got all the colors going on in the worms covering all the bases, but wait, there's more. There's still one more bait contained within this month's sack. Might be the best one yet. That right there is a killer, man. Check this out. One of my favorites. Larger profile square bill, the Cloud 9 Mini Mag SB 3.8 square bill crankbait. Boom, that's a killer. That's the Gizzard Shad color. Let's check it out. Larger profile square bill crankbait. For when you want to entice a bigger bite and you don't want to throw the Crush 50 or the Curve 55 finesse, you grab you one of these bad boys and you can still catch numbers on this thing. I've caught little two and three and four pounders on this, no issue. They still smoke it, but you can also 
hopefully, potentially, the idea anyway is to draw out a bigger bite with these larger profile square bill crankbaits. As you can see, this is a little bit bigger. This is the 3.8 size Cloud9 Mini Mag square bill. Dives three to six feet, according to Six Sense Fishing. As you can see, just another killer shad profile. Got that lavender accent on the side with the uh, dark, it's almost like a dark bronze gold stripe. Bronze back, white belly with the orange accents. Nice, killer. A few of these right up here on the wall as well. The Cloud9 Mini Mag. Awesome square bill crankbait option, especially if you have some bigger fish around. And that rounds out this month's Super 6 Sack Premium Edition. Let's review. Green Pumpkin Ned Fry, June Bug Red, Devon Shaky Worm, Cloud 5.4, Cinnamon Crave. Next up, the Dogma 100 Topwater Walking Style Shad Colors on all the hard baits this month. I ain't mad at it. Stoked on the topwater. Skadoosh season is upon us. Stay ready, vids coming. Cloud 9 C6 Medium Diving Crankbait. Like I said, once they push out just a little bit deeper, they're out there feeding up before it gets super hot. The C6. Keep that in mind, and when you smash a monstro, come back here and let me know. Hey, remember when you told me to fish the C6? I did, and don't forget about the Quake 70 lipless crankbait. It's an awesome option for springtime. Magnum square bill, Cloud9 mini mag, 3.8. Killer sack this month, no complaints from me. All right, got those added to the wall. Excellent sack this month, stoked on the white but it's always an excellent sack with Super 6 Sack. If you guys were on the fence about signing up for the Super 6 Sack and that right there didn't convince you to jump over, I don't know what will, man, but I do know one thing, it's heaters only from the six, and I'm always stoked when I get my Super 6 Sack. But wait, there's more. I placed a little order in the Super 6 Sack and my box full of baits just happened to arrive on the same day. So we're combining the unboxings into one video. Shout out to Berg Blades. You guys know the deal. Always rocking the bottle butcher from Berg Blades at Berg Blades on Instagram. Shout outs to the homie. Not a sponsor, just a friend. Let's see what we got in the box. What's in the box? I remember, but I kind of also forgot. So we'll see. It's Bates. All right. It's all the same color bait as well. So this color might very well be the greatest soft plastic color of all time. I'm sure most of you can probably guess what color I'm talking about. You're gonna see it really quick here. I'm about to pull all of these soft plastics out of this box. It was a color that I was getting low on. And once I realized that I was getting low, I knew I had to uh, fix that, remedy the situation, stock back up on arguably the greatest soft plastic color of all time, and I'm talking about, of course, Big Papa Green Pump, Green Pumpkin, Green Pumpkin, what else? You know, Green Pumpkin, it does the trick. No matter where you are in the country, in the world, Green Pumpkin is just the smoke, man. Don't worry, got a bunch of hard baits in here as well, but I loaded up on Green Pumpkin Soft Classics, and I wanna show you these really quickly. Stroker Cross. Green Pumpkin Stroker Craw. Love this creature bait. Probably my favorite jig trailer. Also love throwing on the old TR. But the Green Pumpkin Stroker Craw from Six Sense Fishing is a crawfish bait that I constantly have on the deck of my boat and I was getting low. Had to hit it with a re-up. Don't forget to separate the appendages. Like I said, I like running this bait as a jig trailer, but it's an excellent flipping bait as well. Throw it with some, uh, you know, some heavy tungsten on a on a flipping hook, or even a four aught EWG Texas rig dragging around down there on the bottom. Love me some Stroker Smoke two packs of green pop two pilly pilly two packs of green pumpkin words. All right, what else? What else really? Okay, just keep it simple. I got two of everything in green pumpkin. Got two packs of Stroker Cross. We saw those. Got two packs of Divine Shaky Worms. Green Pumpkin, these are the 6.3 inch variety as well. Clout 5.4 Stick Baits Green Pumpkin. Ned Fries as well. Ned Fries. 
Ned fries. We got green pumpkin Ned fries in the super six sack. So we got the triple ripper on the green pumpkin Ned fries stocked up, ready to go. Also my favorite creature bait, the green pumpkin prawn. Crack into the prawn. Prawn John Silver, Pronica Lewinsky as my friend Ben Milliken would say. But that right there, Psh, dude. Yup, yup, killer flipping bait. Killer bait for fishing around beds. Also the stroker craw, killer bed fishing bait. Forgot to mention that. And yeah, um, green pumpkin is just the color that I have a lot of confidence in. I throw it all the time. And couldn't let myself run out of the green pumpkin. So I went and snagged two packs and everything that they offer, green pumpkin style. So I'll put one pack in the boat, one pack in the boat, one pack on the wall. Where's the prime wall? Prime bay. Boom. We're good. One pack in the boat. One pack on the wall. Royal blue. One pack in the boat. One pack. And that's how that's going down. So now we're good to go in the boat and on the wall. Restocked with green pumpkin soft plastics. But wait, there's more. Box full of hard baits in here as well. Funny, I noticed something. We got the green pumpkin Ned Fry in the Super Six Sack. We got the Dogma 100 in the Super Six Sack. Speaking of the Dogma 100, I wasn't on to you guys, man. I really love throwing that bait. And I had gone out of my way to purchase a couple more of them. This one right here, the French Bone Pearl. That same awesome color, Dogma 100 French Bone Pearl. Same bait that they put in the sack. It's like they were reading my mind, honestly. I ain't mad at it. Now I'm super stocked up. We're ready to go. Another one. Not one, but two. We're set with the Dogma 100s. Set to jet. And uh, yeah, it's like they were like in my head with this month's Super Six sack. They're matching the hash so far, so to speak. Two more French Bone Pearl Dogma 100s for the wall and the boat. One for the boat, one for the wall, you know the rule. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling. What else do I have in here? Got some really awesome colors in this box. Some cool crankbait stuff. Here's another Dogma 100. This one is a different color. This is Ghost Pro Shad. This is the color that I started out throwing the Dogma 100 in. Confidence color, gotta have this one around. Man, and it looks really good. They did a really good job on this batch. Boom, look at this thing. There it is. And I don't know how well you guys can see, but it has this slight lavender shimmer to it. That ghost shad color, translucent, see-through, gray back, clear minnow shad style body, red accents on the gill plates, gold eyes, that killer shading. Got the knockers in there. Make a little noise up there on top. The Dogma 100 Ghost Pro Shad, super confidence. Love it, love it. It's a killer out here on my lake, especially when they are chasing bait up near the surface, throwing out a smaller profile walking bait into schooling fish. So much fun. And they blast on it out there in open water. Fishing top water around cover and along the shoreline is one thing, but when they hit a top water out there in the deep, just something special. It's almost magic. Let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, next up. Silence, silencio, let's keep quiet, hush mode, stealth mode, a silent square bow crane bait, the Crush 50S, bone reactor color, love this color, silent square bow crane bait, no noise, hush mode, shh. Killer option when everybody's throwing the rattles, show them something different, something silent, something that they just see coming and they just straight react off of vision alone and that subtle vibration coming through the water. Bone reactor, killer color, lavender accents around the forehead, bone yellow, red accents on the gill plates, black dots, bone reactor, that's gonna smoke them no matter where you are. Shh, keep it down. When you wanna throw something quiet, the Crush 50S. Shh. I'm steady loading up on these because I noticed I'm like super heavy on Crush 50Xs and I needed to like build up my Crush 50S lineup. So if you see another silent square bill or two come out of here, you'll know what's going down. So let's take a look at the next one. Crush 50S, high def craw. One of my favorite colors that they offer. Looks like a custom paint, but it's not. Check this thing out. Brown, light brown, green pumpkin, bronze, black, dots. 
Ah. I'll tell you one thing about a real crawfish, they don't rattle. And that looks like a real crawfish. And it's quiet. It doesn't rattle. It has a smoke show of a color. High Def Craw, Crush 50S. You guys hit up the website, sixcentsfishing.com. Load up on some square bills. And make sure you use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna give you 10% off everything on the website. And as always, anyone who uses my JR10 code on sixcentsfishing.com gets a shout out on my Instagram. Just a way for me to say thank you and give you guys some public recognition for supporting me, supporting the movement, helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here so that we can continue to bring you free fishing videos over here on YouTube. So when you place your order, use that JR10 code, take a little screenshot of the confirmation email that they're gonna send you. Hop on over to Instagram and shoot me a DM at the Justin Royal and I will post your screenshot to my story, tag you in it and just say thank you for uh, using that JR10 code. JR10 for the win, you guys are awesome. Thank you to everybody who has been using the code lately. I see you, I love you, much appreciated. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Next up, out of the box, another 50 size silent square bill in another amazing crawfish color. This is the natural crawfish paint job. Woo! Looks like another custom paint, but it's not. Just another really killer silent natural crawfish. A Little more green pumpkin going on in this one. Not quite as dark on the browns. A Little more red incorporated. Got that amber, God, look at that. Dude, just look at this. I mean, what do I, what more do I need to say? I mean, God dang. Look at that freaking crankbait, dude. Stone cold killer. Incredible. Just incredible, man. Natural crawfish, crush 50S, sixcentsfishing.com. JR10 for the win. Heaters only. Some of the best paint schemes in the game on their hard baits. Don't believe me? Go order one of these. Wait till you get it in front of your eye blobs, in your hands. See it for yourself. Incredible. But wait, there's more. Keep it rocking and rolling with the 50 silent square bills. This right here, got a lot of crappie in my lake. So I thought, hey, might be a good idea to have a crappie imitation in one of the smaller size square bills. So I grabbed a silent baby crappie crush 50. Let's check it out. Way to go, dingus. Babe! I dropped my crank bay. All right, we're good to go. It's all good. Yeah, ready to rip baby crappie crush 50S silent square bill crank bait. Just a little baby crappie imitation. What do you guys think? Think that'll get bit? I might tie that one on next, cause I'm curious. Will a crappie style bait draw them in more than the Chester Cheeto? It remains to be seen. Stay tuned. But wait, there's more. Got some more hard baits in the box. Next up, this one right here. Loud, vibrant, bold. One of their most incredible, stand out, um, vibrant colors. One of their most flashy colors. This right here, another silent 50 in Tiger Truce. You guys know the deal. Not only do they offer the incredibly natural and lifelike patterns, but they also offer the bold and the beautiful, the standout. The Tiger Truce is definitely one of their standouts. And just check out the eyes on that bad boy. Woo! Chartreuse, bright orange, black back, vibrant, bold, muddy water fish getter. Yep, I love the Crush 50s. I only had one of these, wanted to have me another one because I'm seriously considering finding like the dirtiest water I can find and seeing if I can catch a fish on this thing soon. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, if you guys wanna see that video, go down in the comments, let me know. Stick around, we might do that soon. And I think trying to throw some of these super vibrant baits is something that has been a long time coming. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. Next up, got another Crush 50. This is the yellow perch color. Just another different kind of fish that I was thinking I might want to imitate out there. Showing something a little different. Yellow perch, not necessarily a fish that we have on my body of water, but that looks like a bluegill or a sunfish to me well enough. And I think a bass would still eat it. It even looks like a baby bass or a Guadalupe bass. So yeah, yellow perch Crush 50S. Rounding out the 50 size square bill order for this box anyway. Love the Crush 50s. Always collecting all the colors that I don't have. And like I said, trying to boost up that Crush 50S silent arsenal, which is why you saw so many of the silent version come out of the box here. This one, but wait, there's more. We've got a couple more in here. These are larger profile square bills, similar to the mini mag that we looked at earlier out of the Super 6 sack. This is the Crush 100X square bill. Silent model, this too, hush mode. Got a couple different colors here. I got the Gillikin and the Shad Scales. 
two really killer shad and bluegill color options, larger profile square bow crankbait. Let's crack them open. Take a look. Yeet. And there we go. Two killer larger profile square bills, 100 size. A step up from the 50s when you wanna go after that bigger bite. Like I said, Magnum square bills, good thing to have on deck. So I got me a couple more and that rounds out the unboxing. That's gonna wrap this one up, guys. That finishes it out. Hope you enjoyed watching me unbox these, these baits, these awesome lures from the six. If you guys wanna see me out there on the water throwing any of this stuff from aboard Beetlejuice, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stick around. I've been out on the water fishing a lot and I have a lot of on the water content coming your way very soon. As mentioned, the first top water fish of the season has been secured and a lot of other really awesome stuff has been going on as well. We've been filming it all. Can't wait to share more with you guys. You guys are gonna get a sneak a little, little glimpse of some stuff you've never seen before. And uh, yeah, a lot of really exciting stuff coming your way this year, 2021. We're grinding, we're ripping, we're rocking right along. And I'm stoked to have so many of you rocking along with me. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one.